Good evening. It's a pleasure to talk to you about the use of psychoanalysis as a treatment for health issues in Brazilian children. A symptom is an unconscious formation. It is a metaphor that masks and reveals the subject's discomfort, an attempt from the child to say what she cannot. Freud argues that when a symptom in the body cannot be linked to an organic cause, it is a substitute for various hidden unconscious contents that are particular to each individual. Thus, a symptom needs to be translated. Lacan explains how the symptom may be unconsciously related to the subjectivity of the mother or the parental couple. I myself have treated many children presenting several types of symptoms, such as anorexia and bulimia, bowel constipation, nocturnal enuresis, and phobia. All of them reveal the child's um, fixation in one of the infant's psychic development stages, the oral, anal, and phallic stages. During them, the child is subjected to the mother's unconscious desire. Many children presenting functional intestinal constipation came to my clinic after traditional medical treatments failed. These children were referred to me by their pediatricians. After about 48 preliminary interviews, they began to go to the bathroom and could wean off the medication and stop the medical treatment. This eventually became uh, the topic of my PhD dissertation in health science, which was quite a challenge because the medical community resists the use of psychoanalysis as a form of treatment. It is this research that I'll share with you tonight. I collected data working at the pediatric hepatology and gastroenterology clinic at the hospital of the Federal University of Bahia. My research had a format that was more familiar to my professors and to the hospital's interdisciplinary team. I used, for example, a questionnaire with the patients and I recorded and analyzed 142 interviews. However, the main method used in this project was the psychoanalytic technique. The analyst uses free-floating attention that is the suspension of prejudice and assumptions to donate her unconscious to listen to the hidden content in the patient's discourse. The patient follows the free association technique, which is to share anything that comes to mind. I listened for verbs, phrases, lips, or any words that express the psychic registers proposed by Lacan. The imaginary, affection, the symbolic, ideas that express conflicts and the real of the body, the patient's relation to the feces. All of them are embedded in the symptom, which like the unconscious is structured as language. This drawing here shows how these three parts are interconnected. In their intersection is the object little a, in this case, the feces. For the child, the feces unconsciously represents herself or a precious part of herself throughout the dynamic of alienation and separation from the mother in the anal stage. Symbolically speaking, the feces function as a love trade currency. The patient's narratives in the anal stage are marked by two verbs, to retain and to poop. To retain symbolizes aggressiveness against the self. To poop means to channel the aggressiveness out, creating a social bond with the world. My goal was to analyze the common and the individual signifiers related to the symptom of functional intestinal constipation in the speech of the child or adolescent and their parents. Other objectives were to analyze the psych manifestation hidden in the anal fixation to investigate how constipation revealed the subjectivity of the child, the mother, the father, and the parental couple, and to sensibilize the multidisciplinary team to the psychic aspects of the symptom. I interviewed 14 families. Above 
are some of the signifiers that express the patient's fixation in the anal stage in the first set of interviews. A longer list came up during the interviews. Here it is. Lacan said that the verbs carry an action um, that is inserted in a certain fantasy towards the symptom as we listen for a chain of signifiers which includes verbs and the sentence elements to which they are tied, we listen beyond the statement. Here are some excerpts from one of my patients. This child here is subjected to the mother's discourse. He is depicted as waste. At the same time, she demands him to help her solve her marital conflicts. In retribution, he affirms he's the devil himself and he calls her a piece of shit. Child and mother here identified imaginarily in a love and hate relationship. Zobain was also a way of demanding the father to play his role. Interestingly, Freud suggests that the signifiers shit and devil are paradoxically connected with uh, the notion of gold, that is of something of high value. The same child played with clay and built a, built a prison. Um, I asked him for whom that prison was. Prison was also freedom to fly, to free himself from his mother. His parents had problems. They beat him, distilling their anger and discomfort. The mother slept with the child. The father's frightened slip. He picks things up in the act instead of in the air denounces how the sexual life of this uh, parental couple is left over their son. The boy presented some associated symptoms such as nocturnal aneurysis and excessive masturbation, which according to Freud are linked to inappropriately channeled aggressiveness and sexuality. Here are some of the findings. Um, they demonstrate that psychoanalysis heals by the signifier. Uh, since his speech crosses the body and provokes healing effects during the treatment, it all starts with the subjective rectification. This means that the patient uh, repositions him or herself before the symptom and takes responsibility for it. A new position emerges in the subject's narratives. 13 cases showed crisis of the parental couple and revealed the mother's demands for the child. Thank you.